greetings and welcome subscribe the channel thermal engineering for video sessions in this session you will be able to explain applications of fluid mechanics with its scope as fluid mechanics has wide range of applications it is used in daily activities and in the design of modern engineering systems from vacuum cleaner to supersonic planes here we will see some applications where the fluid mechanics is required here automobile hydraulic braking system in which application of brake in that the force applied by the pedal is uh, transmitted through the flowing fluid so here the force applied which is at the paddle that can be multiplied and high force is generated which is used to apply the brakes on the shoe in case of four wheelers also in case of two wheelers so here brake fluid is a type of hydraulic fluid which is used in hydraulic brake and hydraulic clutch applications in automobiles and motorcycles so in the design of braking system the knowledge of fluid mechanics is required in case of internal combustion engine inside the combustion chamber where the mixing of air and fuel is taking place so distribution of air fuel ratio in combustion chamber is based on fluid mechanics principle so it needs knowledge of fluid mechanics to find or to decide the air fuel ratio for the higher efficiency from the engine in case of hydraulic power plants in the construction of hydraulic dams in order to calculate power developed by the turbine when the water is flowing from the reservoir to the turbine through this pen stock so here the conversion of this potential energy is taking place in kinetic energy and finally here when this fluid with the kinetic energy is striking to the pelton wheel here generation of mechanical energy is taking place so here velocity of water in a pen stock is determined by using formulae of mathematics and fluid mechanics design of turbine components means blade size number of blades in the turbine there is a need of knowledge of fluid mechanics similarly in case of thermal power plants in order to calculate power developed by steam turbine because here the main component of electricity generation is a steam turbine that is a source of energy steam turbine is run by using the steam which is generated from the boiler so from the boiler this steam with high pressure is uh, conveyed to the steam turbine so in this the journey of steam is uh, taking place through the pipes so here some pressure drop is taking place so here fluid mechanics principles are used to determine the needful steam velocity at the entry of turbine also in the design of steam turbine means finding the size of rotor number of blades there is a need of knowledge of fluid mechanics domestic appliances such as refrigerator that we, we we use to keep the perishable foods under low temperature condition so here in order to study distribution of cold air inside a different sections of refrigerator means freezer 
food storage section liquid and drinks storage section here the air cold air this cold air is uh, moving inside this refrigerator by the natural convection also in some refrigerator it is under force convection means there is a fan provided so in this case fluid knowledge of fluid mechanics is useful in case of washing machine especially the flow is used here is a rotational flow so here rotational flow is a type of flow that is studied in fluid mechanics also in case of vacuum cleaner the air flow or the pressure of the air which is required to maintain by the blower by which the this contaminants will be sucked by this pipe to the this bin dust bin so for that purpose here calculation part of fluid mechanics comes in a picture in case of air conditioning system here this is a split ac which provides the cold air to the room so here in order to maintain the purity of air here filters are provided because of filter there is a pressure drop occurs so that's why to overcome the pressure drop here uh, knowledge of fluid mechanics is used so distribution of the conditioned air inside the air conditioning room and velocity of air which is either uniform or non uniform that is decided by the use of knowledge of fluid mechanics HVAC systems means heating ventilating air conditioning systems these systems are used to convey the heat from one location to another locations so here heat exchangers are used to carry the heat by using refrigerant compressors are used in order to pressurize the refrigerant in order to make it eligible to reject it to the atmosphere so in this journey here different pipes are used between the heat exchangers compressors cooling towers these pipe lines are laid via this refrigerant is flowing so here during this journey pressure drop is taking place so while the selection of pump for the cooling tower water here power is to be calculated so that power is calculated to overcome the pressure drop which is taking place uh, while the flow is taking place so for that purpose here knowledge of fluid mechanics is used pumping system which is used for the city and the piping system that is distribution of the water in the whole city so in order to make available water from the source say lake or river or any natural source of water from that location to consumer this water is uh, conveyed so for that purpose here pumping system is required so here in order to calculate pressure drop in a flow to determine pumping power and for the sizing of pipelines knowledge of fluid mechanics is required different turbo machines like hydraulic turbines in that pelton wheel turbine comes or reaction turbine comes that is francis and kaplan turbines which are used to generate the electrical power for that purpose here the water power is converted into mechanical power by using this arrangement in the turbine that is rotor arrangement so here the flow which is taking place through this casing and this rotor blade parts here the conversion take place similarly here in case of hydraulic pumps already we 
डिस्कस अबाउट एप्लीकेशन इन लास्ट स्लाइड सेंट्रिफिकल कॉम्प्रेसर एंड एक्सेल फ्लो कॉम्प्रेसर आर यूज टू हैंडल द प्रेशराइज एयर और टू प्रोड्यूस द हाई प्रेशर एयर विच इज रिक्वायर्ड इन वेरियस इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन एक्सेल फ्लो कॉम्प्रेसर इज यूज इन द कंबेशन चेंबर और इन अ टर्बो जेट प्रपल्शन इन केस ऑफ एरोप्लेन्स सो इन दिस केस द एनालिसिस ऑफ फ्लो इज डन सो फॉर दैट पर्पज यूर फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स नॉलेज इज वेरी मच इसल इन केस ऑफ स्टीम टर्बाइन सीयर वी सी the steam turbine is uh, getting rotated by the application of steam which is with very high velocity so here the blade shape which is uh, required in order to develop the power that blade shape is uh, obtained by using the design calculations so in this case also knowledge of fluid mechanics is required different principles are used in the mathematical calculations derivations are obtained from the fluid mechanics relations in order to maintain stability of ship in case of high tides the principle of buoyancy and flotation is used here the stability of the ship is determined by the concept like metacentric height that is the distance between center of gravity means cz of the ship and uh, meta center meta center means about which the stability of ship is uh, uh, considered so here the knowledge of fluid mechanics is required in medical applications such as uh, dialysis system pacemaker in case of here this blood regulation system which is here here the regulation of blood pressure is uh, very much important so in this all these uh, medical applications to decide the pressure of the blood knowledge of fluid mechanics is used different flow and pressure measurement equipments which are developed which are used to measure the flow means discharge passing through this equipments and pressure which is applied so in this case knowledge of fluid mechanics is required so venturi meter orifice meter these are the pressure these are the discharge measuring devices pressure bore down tube pressure gauge then here these are the digital meters which are used for the measurement ultrasonic flow meter we say so all these are designed with the help of fluid mechanics calculations so at the end of this session now you can explain applications of fluid mechanics and scope of fluid mechanics wherever is required subscribe the channel for further video sessions on fluid mechanics thank you